Hey guys, Mark here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie a simple rose knot. The blue rose knot, as it is called, was named such in the ultimate book of decorative knots and up to this point I have been a bit dismissive on rose knots because they look like a hassle to tie. But I wanted to try a few and I found the rose knots to be very rewarding to tie. Basically, this simple design is a Matthew Walker knot made with four strands onto which a crown knot is made. So let's get into it. So here you can see the blue rose knot. As you can see it does indeed look like a crown knot with a Matthew Walker knot tightened around it. The cords are exiting at the bottom of the knot which is something we're going to have to work in. To start I will set up my four cords in a cross-like shape so each one faces one of the sides. I'm going to start with my bottom cord and go under two like this then take my right cord and go under the three cords here like this then take my top cord go under the three cords and through the first loop that we made finally Take your left cord, go under this first cord and under and through the first loop. And under and through the second loop. And this completes our single Matthew Walker knot. Once you tighten it up, it's going to get a nice shape at the top, like this. With cords facing one of the directions each. On the side you're going to notice a classic Matthew Walker knot look, which is a continuous wave of cords. If this is not the case, then you need to retie the knot. We're now going to tie a crown knot on top by taking one of the cords and passing it counterclockwise over the next cord, and then the next cord goes counterclockwise over the next, then the next one over the next, and then the last one finishes inside the first loop that we made. Once you tighten this up, you're going to get a crown knot on top of our Matthew Walker knot. So like this. Now to finish this knot in a nice looking fashion, we will need to work in our four cords so that they are parallel to the starting cords at the bottom here. So we're going to open up the knot by basically pulling on two of the bytes that are next to our cord and then work in the cord through and this will place it next to the starting cords here. We're going to do this with all four cords so take your next cord, pull out two of the bytes that are nearest and then work in your cord. Then the next cord, pull out two bytes and feed your cord through. And 
And finally, the last two bytes and feed your core through. Now we need to tighten up our knot and just like with all Matthew walkers this needs to be done slowly. To tighten the center knot which is the crown knot we're going to use these short strands and the starting strands are going to be used to tighten the Matthew walker. So if I pull on the short strands I'm going to shape the crown knot. And with my long strands on the bottom, if I pull on those, the Matthew Walker is going to tighten up. So like this. And that's how you tighten up the blue rose knot. Make sure that your crown knot is always at the top of the knot and slowly tighten up your Matthew Walker around it. So guys, I hope that this tutorial wasn't that hard. I did need to retie this a bunch of times before I was able to show it to you guys. And I made some serious modifications to the basic way of tying this in order to make it simpler. I hope you will enjoy this knot. Be patient. It doesn't come overnight. Well, it's not that hard, but you're going to need some patience. In any case, thank you for joining me in this tutorial. See you next time.